So we're at the halfway mark of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. And my goodness, we might have just witnessed one of the most exciting and dramatic group stages in the history of the competition. And here's why. Number one, goals galore. We've been treated to a total of 89 goals in the 36 group matches, which translates to uh, goals per game rate of 2.47. Now, the tournament has not enjoyed such a goal fest since the 2008 edition 15 years ago. Number two, late drama. Now, this is an interesting bit of stat. This year's edition has already registered the highest number of goals scored past the normal time. A resounding 13 goals have been scored after the 90-minute mark. This is more than half of the previous top tally, which stood at six goals. Number three, surprise packages. Now, this is the third edition since the expansion of AFCON from 16 teams to 24 teams. The eight additional slots has given an opportunity and a platform for the so-called smaller nations to be able to compete against the giants of African football. For instance, Equatorial Guinea topped Group A, ahead of hosts Ivory Coast and Nigeria, and became the top scorers in the group stages with nine goals. Cape Verde as well, overpowering four-time champions Ghana and record winners Egypt to top Group B. We also have the likes of Namibia and Mauritania, who recorded their first ever AFCON wins against Tunisia and Algeria, and both progressing to the knockout stages of the competition for the first time in their history. Number four, the Fallen Giants. Now, with the tournament producing some surprise packages, it also comes with the Falling Giants, particularly former champions of the competition. Ghana, Tunisia and Algeria all failed to win a single match in their respective groups. The Black Stars finished third in Group B, while 2019 champions Algeria and 2004 champions Tunisia finished rock bottom in Group D and E, respectively. Now, as we shift gears to the knockout stages that begin this weekend, let's brace ourselves for more excitement and drama as the race to get hands on this beautiful trophy intensifies in Côte d'Ivoire.